What's going on guys? You're with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. And as you guys voted, the Nuzlocke run. That's right, I had a few and um Light Platinum, I had you guys vote for what this should be, and it was so freaking close. There's a four hundred and fifty votes total as of right now. Nuzlocke won with fifty three percent and forty seven percent of you said I should do a let's play. So it made me really kinda like, oh my god, which one should I do? Which one should I pick? Because uh, it was literally split right down the middle. And I decided we're going to be continuing it as a Nuzlocke. But I'm going to assume when I lose, um, I'm going to have you guys pick six Pokemon. And those are going to be the six Pokemon I continue to game with as a normal Let's Play. So no matter what, you guys are going to have your voice heard in this game. So it's like a viewer play. I should totally call it that because you guys are like making all the decisions. Anyways, let's get on with the first Shadow Pokemon battle. Yay! Mirror B, Peon truly would like to battle. And he's got Dusk on Spinner Rack, neither of which are Shadow Pokemon. For those of you who remember the last episode, this uh, this series is probably going to be like really confusing for people who are just like looking at the playlist of it because it goes, let's play, Nuzlocke, let's play, Nuzlocke, let's play, Nuzlocke. I can't make up my mind on what I want the series to be. Once I lose the Nuzlocke, yeah, once I lose, I'm just that confident about this. Um, once I lose, it's going to go back to like a let's play or a viewer play. I'm like seriously starting to like that name because you guys are like making all the decisions. You're deciding what kind of series this will be. If I lose the Nuzlocke, you guys are going to decide on what six Pokemon I'm going to be using. Um, and I'll have an option of every Shadow Pokemon available plus Plusle and Espeon and Umbreon if that day were to come. We'll find out. And everybody's yelling at me saying that this Makuhita is 100% catch rate. I had one person say that it wasn't, but for the most part everyone's saying, Hardy, it's 100% catch rate. Just throw your Pokeball. So we're going to find out right now, is this thing 100% catch rate? We're going to throw just an ordinary Pokeball at it um, and see what happens. If we catch it, then fantastic. If we don't, then super sad face. So after the last episode, I was dumb enough to save the game. So I had to like replay the game up to this point so I can get another chance at it. And that really sucked because it, it seemed to take forever. But um, I was like doing my best to speed run the game. And uh, it took about 15 minutes to get from the very beginning of the game, like the title screen, up until this battle, which I guess isn't that bad, because before it took me like a part and a half to get here, so... Uh, but of course, I didn't have to like read a dialogue, and I was like mashing the A button. Okay, we caught it. That doesn't prove anything. You guys aren't that smart, okay? Just, no. <laughs> Don't feel accomplished, okay? And we will also be sticking of your guys' choice of, of Quilava as our Johto starter Pokemon that we'll be going after. Hopefully this time we don't kill it. Um, if we get yeah, if we get down to Kuava, I'll probably just do like as little amount of damage as possible and just start chucking great balls because I don't want a repeat of what happened last time when Umbreon decided, hey yo, I don't want you on my team, die! And that was said. Darn it, but you're good. You snagged my Pokemon. Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed. Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again. Mere B's gonna chew us out. What do we do? What is there to do? We're on our way. They're the runaway guys! Oh my god, they're gonna go join Chugga Conroy and all the other people I don't know that are on that channel. You did it, Hardy! You snagged the Pokemon from the goon, so I'm gonna dance like a freaking retard! Yay! But I'm sure there are others like it, let's get all them back from the bad guys! Yay! What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, just... No, that's not normal. Anyways, we don't want Bayleaf, so we gotta run all the way back to the other side. Um, it's like a whole five seconds we gotta waste running because this game is just nothing but running. Ugh. Whatever. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not gonna let you pass. Or do you have this idea you can take me to battle? Wah! <laughs> You're not gonna beat me? You are? Don't cry. I, I think I've messed up, like, every line of his dialogue. I'm not even sorry. He deserved it. He's Mystery Troop Russo and he'd like to battle us. I don't remember. Does he start up? Yeah, okay, he does start up with Kalava. I think this is our only two Pokemon, so I kind of have the urge to just immediately throw a Great Ball at Kuava. I know Kuava can live at least one bite, because I think last time we used like two bites and two returns and it killed it. So I think I'll use a bite this turn and the next turn I'll just focus on the Pokeballs. But at least he's going to be like, oh my god, it's a Shadow Pokemon because we did it already, freaking totally know that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Shadow. The Hedgehog. Oh my god, they should like, Sonic should do a crossover with Pokemon. And then do, like, make Shadow the Hedgehog a Shadow-type Pokemon. Oh, and then when you purify him, he turns into Sonic. Yes. Why is this not a real thing, Pokemon? You must do this. I will be so happy. 
Oh, no, don't dig, man. All right, whatever. Um, let's time. We, oh, okay, we gotta use Umbreon to attack Koava because Umbreon's the slowest. All right, we'll bite Koava and we'll, um, I guess we'll use Return on Splunk because, I don't know. I just want to get damage off on Koala. That's all I want because I don't want to kill it. Because I, I want her to be a part of my team because I know we're going to be good, good friends. And it's just, we're going to click, man. How much is this going to do? I'm kind of worried. Okay, that didn't do that much. We could take another one if we have to. It, how much is Bite going to do? If Bite does like a crit. Okay. A crit does that much, so. Um, Alright, alright. I have a strategy. We're going to Bite. Um, no. No, okay, I'm afraid Koava's gonna dig again, so I'm not gonna take the risk of him missing out on a turn. So we're just gonna throw our first Great Ball now. Don't worry, guys, I know what I'm doing. Hardy has a strategy, it's all okay. But we're gonna catch this Koava right now. This guy isn't even gonna know what's gonna happen. It's just, it's over. It's over. He's in our balls. Watch it. Watch it shake, baby. One, two, th Oh my god, I actually thought that was gonna work. Okay, it's okay. It's okay, I still have a strategy. Everything. Oh, he. Oh my god, no. He. He didn't use dig. I thought he was gonna use dig. That completely messed up my strategy then. Um. Okay. I have an even better strategy now. As long as he doesn't dig, we'll be fine. Um. I really gotta be careful with Shadow Force. Or I think that's what it's called. Shadow Force? It's, oh my god, it does so much damage. It can do so much damage. That's why I'm really worried about it. Um. Alright, I'm gonna. Bite. And with you, I'm going to set up a Reflect. Just to negate the dig damage. I don't remember if Shadow... I don't remember what Shadow Force is. If it's special or physical. I don't know. Smoke screen. Okay, as long as you're not digging, I'm okay. Actually, that kind of sucks. Because now I'm probably going to miss all my bites. Please bite him, Umbreon. Please bite him. Please. 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 Okay, is it hitting? Oh, okay. Whew. Alright, this is getting a little too close for comfort. Um, with Umbreon, let's... Taunt, just, yeah, you know, that seems like a good idea, taunt, and another great ball, can we catch him this time, maybe, oh, okay, here we go, great ball, and snag him, alright guys, cross your fingers, we can do this, we can catch it, we can catch it, we can catch it, come on, oh my god, one, two, three, <gasps> oh, actually, we actually got it, awesome, we caught Koava, happy face, um, you, you, you're tough. Truly and fully can't be blamed for losing. I, I'm pretty sure his voice changed, but every character's voice changed. That's why I'm like really bad at dialogue games, which if you like, if you guys watch Mystery Dungeon, uh, Red Rescue Team, like every character who had a voice besides like the two main characters, it changed like every time they spoke because it was never the same voice. That, it's a Pokemon that we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. What? You, you did it! You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart? <laughs> knowing that you're not gonna help- knowing that's not gonna help you any. I'm just gonna run away now, cause I'm a Rattata. I know! When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Hardy, let's go. They're probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it was Pyrite that they captured me. Okay, but before we do that, let's go ahead into Pokemon Center. Just to heal up our brand new freaking Shadow Pokemon. Oh, man. And Pyrite Town's gonna be a lot of fun, because there is a ton of Shadow Pokemon in Pyrite Town, including... Oh, man. You, you guys wait until you see who. Oh, he's gonna... He's coming back, guys. He's coming back stronger than ever. And those of you who played this game, and, you know, those of you who have the ability to look at the sidebars where it shows the Shadow Pokemon, um, although they're really, like, there's, like, a big, um... I guess I, I guess you could call it a shadow over them because it has like a I have a little black screen where they're just like 95 like only 5% visible or just you, you you can see what I'm talking about I don't need to try to explain because I'm horrible at that um anyways we're on our way to pirate town now but before we do that we have to stop at this random construction lot which is really odd that they make you stop here it does become important later but as of right now there's absolutely nothing you can do so you literally just you walk here and then you turn around and you walk out and then you go to your pirate town so <laughs> yeah absolutely useless but that's pokemon for you poke logic can't question it never can never will anyways welcome to pirate town probably i don't know this might be my favorite town in the game it has the coolest music for sure i love the music in this place 
I don't well, I don't know. Mirby also has good music, but anyways, we got some dialogue. Ah, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> oh, I have I have such a dirty mind. Ah, Mr. Johnson, give me a break here. I keep telling you, I don't do I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you not if you try to call me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I want to think about lying to you. You've got to blame me, right? Well, all right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See ya. Wow. Okay, Mr. Johnson is also apparently extremely gullible. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got a thing to tell you. Oh, I wonder what happens if we talk to him. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your face around these parts. What are you, tourist? If you don't know, if you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost and quick for the good of your health. Wow. Violent much? Okay, so here comes the fun part of the game where I actually don't fully remember what to do. But I do know they're right in here. This is pretty much like Shadow Sir. Oh, Hardy! I've been in this square. It was this square that shot a sh weird shadow Pokemon thing. I tried to leave the town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful. Even at the best of time, there's nothing normal about this town. So this should be called, like, Shadow Circle or something, because this is just, like, creeping with shadow Pokemon. And I don't remember who has what, but who should we take on first? I'm thinking you. It's going to be really awkward if he doesn't have a shadow Pokemon, actually. Quah, you are going to battle me. That's too funny. Come at me if your life depended on it. <laughs> um, I hope he has a shadow Pokemon, or I'm going to feel like extremely stupid here, because I know there are a lot of shadow Pokemon in this area. Okay, he does, and it's right there. Oh my god, I'm actually quite excited to use this, because assuming we catch it, I wonder if you guys want to know who it is. <laughs> it's not the Zigzagoon. I've never used the Mistrevis before, so... I'm kind of curious. So, I don't know. I think it's level 30, so it could probably take a bite. Um, yeah, you know, we'll risk one bite and hope we don't kill. I don't think we'll kill it. It's gonna live it. I just, I know it. I, I have that poke sense. You know, I could tell that it's gonna live it. As okay, so Zig Zagoon with confusion. So obviously, Mistrevis can live bite, right? Right? Oh, oh wait, no, no, that's bad. No, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Espeon, no. What? Uh, that is bad. No. Uh, why? Why? My God, I am just the worst Pokemon trainer. Okay, don't kill it. Don't kill it. No, not a crit. Okay. Whew. Wow, is Umbreon really that weak that a crit did that little? <laughs> um. Okay, I think we could try throwing throw a Great Ball at it now. So. Umbreon, let's bite the Zigzagoon, and with Kalava, we'll throw a Great Ball, and hopefully catch this Mistrevis to now replace our fallen Espeon. Wow. We already have a death. That is... That was... Ah, oh, man. I don't even... I'm just so sad now. One, two, three, and cut. Oh, wow, I actually called it right. I was going to be really sad if it broke out after I said cut. But, oh god, guys, he has a skinny. Hide your whalers. Hide your whalers. I don't. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a joke here, and I can't think of it. Like I'm. I know. I was, I was thinking of like the Intruder song, and I was trying to like fix whalers and whalers into that because a skitty just came out, and it, I just now I'm starting to think it probably wouldn't fit very well, so I would just seem weird. But the one bad thing about Shadow Pokemon is because of Shadow Force, you're gonna have to be healing up a lot, and I can't believe Espeon couldn't take that, man. That is so annoying. Um, if you get infatuated too, I'm gonna be super annoyed. Wow, what is with the crits today, Umbreon? That is the third crit you've got this video. That is really scary. I'm, like, beyond terrified for, um, for S Umbreon now, because someone's gonna crit get a crit on Umbreon. I could just call it. Um, is there a poke? No, I don't think there's a Pokemon Center in Pyrite. I think the only place you can heal yourself is in the, um, the Coliseum. You can go up there and heal your Pokemon. If Pokemon goes into hyper mode, blah blah blah. Why do trainers here have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of it now. The town's hiding a big secret. Yeah, Lisa, you're so smart. It's not like this is some evil, extreme, bad looking town. But anyways, if you go up here to the Coliseum, it's the I believe only place in the entire game you can not the entire game, in the entire town you can heal your Pokemon. Actually, there's also a hotel, and I don't know if you can heal your Pokemon there or not, but if you're curious, you cannot actually enter this Coliseum either. Yet. We will be entering it soon, but that probably won't be till next episode. I think today, um, we're just gonna be catching... Well, I don't know. I think we're actually we're supposed to talk to this guy right here to activate an event. I don't remember. 
I didn't get here in time to make the registration. I heard rumors that if you win the challenge, you get an awesome Pokemon like Kale did. Oh, sheesh, what am I saying? You have to keep that a secret. Pretend you never heard me, okay? Huh? Hardy, wasn't Kale that guy hanging out around the town's entrance? We shouldn't ask him. He might know something. Yeah, because it's totally not like he just said keep it a secret or anything. So going there and asking him if he has a shadow Pokemon, that's totally not a bad idea. Right? Right? Oh, it is? It's a horrible idea? I shouldn't do it? Oh, oh, but wait, where am I going? Oh, actually, I have to go back there and put Espeon in a box. I just... Man, I don't know. I want to use Espeon. It's not fair. I freaking hate Nuzlocke's, man. Why did you guys do this to me, you know? Why can't it... Like, it Nuzlocke won by 30 votes. Why couldn't you 30 people vote for Let's Play, huh? This is your fault. I'm so sorry, Espeon. Um, but, you know, rules are rules. And you are the lowest level, so... To be fair, usually, like, once I get a party of, like, six good Shadow Pokemon, I rarely ever use Espeon and Umbreon as it is. So, but Espeon's so useful early in the game. And now we, we're missing out on that. And we have three Pokemon who have nothing but Shadow Rush, and Umbreon who's mainly just defensive. So things are looking great for me so far, but let's go catch us some more Shadow Pokemon to fill Espeon's spots. This is Dual Square, where even crying kids know they better shut up. This is where ref, Roughnecks gather, so how about it? Would you like me to battle? Excellent. I like a man who can come up with a quick decision. Let's have it out. I probably don't need to read the dialogue for these guys, because, I don't know, when I do, like, oh, different voices and stuff, it hurts my throat. And when my throat starts to hurt, I can't do commentary more long. I can't remember, is Noctile a Shadow Pokemon, or has this Shadow Pokemon not come out yet? Or is it Ledeva? I think, actually, you get a Ledeva as a Shadow Pokemon, too. Both of these Shadow Pokemon are actually kind of disappointing looking at it, so... Which one is it? It is... Noctile! Okay, well that's definitely better than Lediva. Actually, I think you get Ledian better later on. I don't remember now which one you get, but I guess it doesn't matter, so... Let's Shadow Rush Lediva. Last time I played through this game, Makuhita went into Hyper Mode with... Wow, that did nothing. No, no, okay. Um, as I was gonna say... Freaking uh, Makihita went into sh to hyper mode like every freaking turn, and while it's good to do that because it makes it um, open its heart faster, so that you oh my god, seriously, what the heck? Ugh. Do you know how annoying? Okay, let's taunt Umbria or let's taunt Noctowl because I don't want it using hypnosis, and I will call you. So the one good thing about hyper mode is that it opened up its heart, which means it'll learn new moves. And actually, I think Makihita might have just learned its second move there. We will find out. Try using Hypnosis, I dare you. Okay, use Shadow Rush, that's actually worse. Um, but I did go and buy some Super Po- Oh! Speaking of Super Potions, wow. I was gonna say, I did go buy some Super Potions, and it looks like now we're gonna need it, because that did a ton of damage. Now I want this Noctowl, man. Why is everyone picking up poor Makuhita? He did nothing to you. He just wants to be your friend. Okay, let's... Bite the... Yeah, okay, um... Uh, which one of Umbreon's attack stats is higher? I don't remember. I think it's his special attack. Oh. Attack is 42 and special attack is 40. Okay, secret power I think normally has 60 base power. Bite has 60 base power. But Bite has stab, so it'd be 80. No, it'd be 90. So Bite would always do more. But it all, oh, I don't know what Noctel's defensive stats are. Anyways, uh, let's just super potion up before I ramble on too long. Poor Makihita. You know, I already lost Espeon. There's no way I'm letting him die. I, I want this. I want Makihita, because Har Hariyama is a beast. He's so bulky and awesome. And, uh, don't use it on my Makihita. Don't use it on my Makihita. Okay, Umbreon took that like a boss. Good job, buddy. And, what do I should just let Lediba, or Ledin. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I feel like I'm saying it right. Lediba? I should just, like, let him stay out here, because he's not doing anything to me. The poor guy can't do, like, any damage at all. So, um, I think I'm gonna bite again, and just for the heck of it, let's try throwing a Great Ball, just to see if we can catch it now. I doubt we will, but, you know, why not? <laughs> Actually, I should I don't want to waste my Great Balls, I should be throwing my Pokeballs just for the heck of it, but, I don't know, I'm just really scared, this thing hits Makahita super hard, and if it gets a crit, Makahita's screwed. Oh, 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 oh my god, whoa, really? Okay, that's awesome. I didn't actually expect to catch that. 
This has been a good episode so far, except for Espeon dying. I've had, like, really good luck with catching Pokemon. So, yeah, now we can actually just, um, kill him. And that'll be a big happy face. Makahita. Man, awesome. So now we have, um, I think four Pokemon? I don't remember how many we had. Let's see, we've caught Makahita, Koava, Miss Magius, and Noctow. We have Umbreon, so that's five. Espeon just died. Okay, we have five Pokemon, which isn't a bad start for just, like, the third episode, which... Actually, oh my god, Makahita, what the heck? Every time. <laughs> Has he even done a move this entire game? I tell you, every time I want to attack with him, he dies. Or he goes into hyper mode. It's... Urgh. So, the good thing is, he's going to have a clear heart super duper fast. And then we can just move on to our next Pokemon. That's probably what I'll do with my Shadow Pokemon, is try to open up their hearts as fast as possible so they have their full move set. And then, um... I don't know, you know, there will probably be those Pokemon I don't want to use, because there are a lot of useless Shadow Pokemon in this game, like... Um... I can't think of any right now. I think you get, um... I can't remember. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's not a po Oh my god, Makahita actually attacked! No way! I'm so proud of you. Okay, well, Lydia's dead, and this battle is over. And that took a lot longer than it should have. And... Thank you! Okay, you... You gave us a Pokemon, I appreciate it. You saying I lost? Yeah, I also stole your Pokemon. How does it feel? Probably not very good, huh? I bet you're a little sad right now, aren't you? I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If Pokemon goes into hyper mode, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, hey? Oh, oh, actually, I didn't know that. Um, but I still just prefer to call them out. Because I think, like, half the time, they won't do anything you want. I don't actually remember how hyper mode works, but... We have three more Shadow Pokemon here to catch. I think we're going to do one more this episode, so let's do you. If I try talking to anyone in the dual square, there's only one answer. It's a battle! Ryder Webo would like to battle. What, are you, what makes you a rider? You don't look like you ride anything. Besides maybe like desperate guys in a bar. I think that's the use of Shadow Pokemon I was thinking of. Oh my god, no. I don't want to use you. Actually, I think he gets good powder moves. I think he has like all the powder moves, so... Well, maybe, I guess he'll be useful. In case you weren't, in case you didn't know, it is Skiploom. Yay. I bet you can tell how excited I am right now because of that. Oh, Mega Drain. Okay, well, because we're going to get Bayleaf, I think this is like the only other grass type we get for... Um, I don't know, do you get any other grass types besides Skiploom? I don't remember. I'll have to, I guess try to care enough to look into that and how much is that gonna do freaking all right so another shadow rush will kill oddish who did who did he use mega drain against i don't remember oddish used acid oh my god guys oddish is on drugs marijuana dorito oh i want to catch the oddish and name him dorito that would be awesome oh wow i didn't i never realized acid hits both parties or both pokemon huh um should I be healing up right now? Yeah. Let's play it safe and heal up. No way I'm going to let freaking Makahita die to an Oddish. That would just be stupid. But, oh, Shadow Rush. Okay, this is where things get dangerous. And what? Ah! Why? Why does that have to do? Why does everyone have to attack Makahita? Like, seriously? <laughs> oh my god. If this Oddish gets like a crit or something and kills my Makahita. Okay, just put him to sleep. Yeah. Actually, who are you putting to sleep? Oh, not Umbreon. No. I actually want Umbreon awake, man. Ah. Okay, well, the good news is I can... Um, let's use Umbreon's turn. I think we can catch Skiploom right now. I think it's low enough. And Makahita, we will heal up because he won't survive this turn if we don't. Okay. Now, this is going to be like a useless turn, because we're not going to do any damage to them, but hopefully we can catch the Skiploom. I have a feeling we can. I don't think Skiploom's a very high catch rates. And I think catch rates might actually be lower in this game, because the Pokemon are already, like, such high levels. So... Like, yeah, because I don't think we would have caught that Koava normally at that amount of health, because usually the starter Pokemon have really low catch rates. And, oh my god, he's easy to absorb. This Oddish, man, it's so dangerous. Um... So, this is the time when we need freaking Espeon, man. Ah, 
Um, I will use... I'll use Makahita's turn to wake up. I do have Awakenings. That's awesome. To wake up Umbreon. I I like that. Makahita's just going to sit here and be, like, fodder. You know, not, he's not fodder. I don't want him to die. I want him to stay alive forever and ever and ever. Because... Really? Really? What? Didn't the last bite do... Oh, wow. You're so stupid. Don't put me back to sleep. You... S no. No, what the heck? I was asleep at the beginning of this turn. Why would you target me? Do you know how stupid that is? How... <laughs> Poker logic. Poker logic. Okay, so now I know Dustock has confusion, and that actually really freaking scares me. Because he... Uh, it could potentially, like, kill Makahita? So... Let's... Um... I am I could just stay in and take hits. I don't want to use up all my awakenings right now. So let's switch out Makahita, though. Let's go into... Um... Kulava. Who... I, Kulava's the one, next one I just want to start working on, which is with both Dig and Flame Wheel are really good coverage moves. So I want to open up Kulava's heart as fast as possible as well. Because Typhlosion will definitely be like a permanent team member. He's going to be on the team forever. And is he going to use it on... He was, he was talking, he was targeting Makuhita. Oh, I'm so smart. I feel so poke smart right now. Please use that on freaking Kuava. I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Use our Kuava. Get that, like, one health back. You're just gonna live forever, Oddish, aren't you? You're so rebel. You're so rebellious. I'm so jealous of your rebellious nature, Oddish. And. Man, Shadow Rush, how come Shadow Rush only seems to do a lot when it's, like, the other Pokemon using it? Umbreon, any day now, you can just, like, go ahead and wake up. Oh, I don't like this. I don't want to get poisoned. Okay, yeah, good. Use it on the Pokemon that can't get poisoned. That's actually okay in my book. And, oh my god, ask it again. Oddish, you need to get off the drugs, man. It's a serious problem. I'm just saying, you you can't do this. We, we can take you. We can get you some help. What, another crit? There's so many crits this episode. It's ridiculous. Okay, Oddish, maybe, like, wake up, or not Oddish, Umbreon, if you could wake up this turn, that would be fabulous. Just saying, we could, like, go get some coffee, um, we'll go drink, oh my god, really, why are you not waking up? If you don't wake up until the last turn, I was just gonna be so upset. Seriously, does Guess Hit Bokes Pokemon? I don't remember. It, it does not, okay. So... I can't believe we're having the most trouble with an Oddish. This entire video, Oddish is giving us the most trouble. The tiny little piece of grass is giving us the most trouble in this battle. How does that make any sense at all? But whatever, as long as Umbreon wakes up this turn... Kulava! Why? I was gonna say this would be the final battle of this turn. But no, Kulava's like, hey, bro, guess what? No! Ah. Another crit. Okay, that's four crits for Umbreon in this video. Does Umbreon have Super Luck? Is that even in this generation? I know Umbreon doesn't actually have Super Luck, but... Okay, the only good thing that came out of this is now we'll be able to call Kulava and open up his heart a pretty big chunk. So... Wow, okay, or not nearly as much. Why did Makihita's open up so much when I called him, but Kulava's didn't? More Poke Logic! Ugh, I'm so done with this game. Makes no sense. Whatever, Dustox is dead. I don't care. Anyways, guys... Um, with that, we now have a full party and a dead Espeon, so I think we made good progress today, and in the next episode, we'll be catching some more Shadow Pokemon and making our way through the rest of Pyrite City. So, oh, that was a incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That's L-O-V-E. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. Oh, you like taking that beating, huh? Yeah. Lisa, I don't need you anymore. I found someone better. She likes it. Oh, she likes it rough. And, anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And I'm thinking I'm going to be doing Coliseum twice a week. So, probably like Tuesdays and Fridays, or maybe Tuesdays and Saturdays. I don't know. But Tuesdays is definitely like the regular day, or Monday night, Tuesday mornings for Pokemon Coliseum. So, every week, at least once a week. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Peace!